The Royal Navy has declared two uncrewed aerial platforms ready for frontline operations, marking a significant step in its drive to integrate autonomous systems into maritime aviation. Advanced drone systems which have been trialed in drug-busting missions have been declared operational for the Royal Navy. Together, Peregrine and the T-150 reflect the Navy's broader ambition to integrate autonomy across the fleet. Both platforms have moved rapidly from trials to operational service, signaling the urgency with which the UK is modernizing its maritime aviation. The Malloy T-150 uncrewed air system is now ready for frontline operations, enhancing Royal Navy and Royal Marines' capabilities, both designed to expand the fleet's reach and resilience. After rigorous trials worldwide, the Malloy T-150 is set to transform modern military operations, delivering critical supplies in challenging environments for the Royal Marines. Following two years of trials and development completed in close collaboration with the Royal Navy, a fleet of T-150s will be deployed to carry ammunition, weaponry, food, personal and medical supplies to Royal Marines commandos operating in all manner of extreme environments. The Malloy T-150 is also undergoing operational evaluation with the UK Carrier Strike Group in the Indo-Pacific, recently delivering supplies from aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales to destroyer HMS Dauntless in an historic first. Royal Marines and the Royal Navy's drone operators from 700X Naval Air Squadron and Commando Logistic Regiment have put the Malloy T-150s through a demanding set of tests and exercises from the freezing Arctic to the Indian Ocean over recent months. This work has resulted in the system being declared ready to release to service, which means they are ready to be used during operations. The Malloy UAS has proved immensely valuable in rapidly bringing supplies over complex terrain, reaching places where traditional supply lines are simply unviable. With eight rotor blades each around two feet in length and endurance of up to 40 minutes, top speed of 60 miles per hour, and the ability to lift up to 68 kilograms, the Malloy T-150 is a proven, capable and versatile platform. It needs a team of two, one remote pilot and a second to monitor the aircraft's command unit, and can be flown manually or autonomously to designated waypoints with an underslung cargo. The Malloy is set to be a powerful platform for years to come. Frontline operations will now be bolstered with Malloy T-150 and Peregrine systems on a widespread basis. After two years of trials and development, the Malloy aircraft will be used to carry ammunition, weaponry, food, and medical supplies to Royal Marines commandos operating in harsh environments. These devices are currently being used on a UK carry strike group deployment for the first time, with aircraft ferrying supplies to and from HMS Prince of Wales. As a multi-role UAS, the Malloy T-150 can be used for replenishment at sea one day and resupplying deployed Royal Marines commandos the next. A surveillance and reconnaissance, the Peregrine Mini Helicopter, has also been rolled out after trials with HMS Lancaster. Peregrine has been used on several of HMS Lancaster's missions in the Middle East. Its operational success aboard HMS Lancaster demonstrates the potential of rotary wing uncrewed air systems to transform maritime operations, it's equipped with a powerful radar which works in all weathers day or night, with the ability to track and target threats in maritime and coastline areas. With the integration of the iMaster radar, Peregrine provides exceptional surveillance capability and is a vital step for wider maritime aviation transformation, ensuring the Royal Navy remains at the forefront of innovation in naval aviation. Peregrine Mini Helicopter Drone to Bring Eyes and Ears to the Royal Navy Developed by Thales in partnership with Shebel, Peregrine is a rotary wing uncrewed air system that extends the eyes and ears of the fleet well beyond the horizon. Equipped with Thales iMaster radar, it delivers day and night, all-weather intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance IS are across complex maritime and littoral environments. The Royal Navy confirmed Peregrine has already proven itself on live operations with HMS Lancaster, supporting maritime security missions and counter-narcotics patrols. Its agility and persistence have shown the value of uncrewed helicopters for enhancing situational awareness in contested seas. The introduction of Peregrine into service is a game-changer for our surface fleet, says Captain Dave Gillett, head of Navy Develops Maritime Aviation and Carrier Strike. Its successful deployment with HMS Lancaster shows how uncrewed systems can deliver real operational advantage, extending our surveillance reach and enhancing our decision-making in theater. The UK Commando Force continues to be at the vanguard of operational change in embedding digital and autonomous systems into the way we fight, says Brigadier Chris Haw 
head of the Commando Forces program, Thales described the in-service declaration as a milestone. Its operational success aboard HMS Lancaster demonstrates the potential of rotary wing uncrewed air systems to transform maritime operations, says Marie Garel, vice president for ISR activities at Thales. This milestone highlights our shared commitment to innovation, safety and delivering critical capability to the fleet. Crucially, Peregrine is positioned as a core element of the Royal Navy's maritime aviation transformation strategy, which is bringing in both crewed and uncrewed systems to sustain operational advantage. Malloy T-150 heavy lift quadcopter for resupply at sea alongside Peregrine, the Navy has also declared the Malloy T-150 in service. This heavy lift quadcopter drone has already been trialed in ship to shore resupply and amphibious support roles. Capable of carrying payloads of up to 68 kilograms, it allows commanders to move supplies and critical equipment without exposing sailors to unnecessary risk. The introduction of logistic drones represents a significant expansion in the commando force's use of uncrewed aerial systems, beyond those already in service for surveillance slash reconnaissance, and importantly reduces the risk to personnel during tactical resupply, says Brigadier Haw. Tested in operationally representative conditions, and developed in close collaboration with Malloy, the equipment and operators have made considerable progress. The T-150 has great potential for broader use cases as we have recently seen in operational theaters and on the carrier strike deployment. The Malloy T-150 is also undergoing operational evaluation with the UK Carrier Strike Group in the Indo-Pacific, recently delivering supplies from aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales to destroyer HMS Dauntless in a historic first. The Peregrine Rotary Wing Drone and the Malloy T-150 Logistics UAV are now in service, both designed to expand the fleet's reach and resilience.